This one nearly broke me. I posted on Twitter that I was experimenting with the 3D effect plugin for OBS Studio. And my goal was pretty simple. I wanted to stack multiple layers and basically have some sort of parallax effect that would give you the illusion of depth. After testing for hours, I realized that, okay, this plugin is good if you want one single layer to appear 3D and place it in some sort of fake 3D space. But if you were to stack them, then you would have an issue with like anchor points, you know, it wouldn't know where it's at in 3D space. Eventually, after literal hours of testing, I found out a way to actually make it work. You could kind of sense that there is some perspective, there is some depth, but the problem was, this was made in OBS Studio. You could do this in OBS Studio only, but you would need two or three plugins, a bunch of filters on each layer, and maybe some external software like StreamerBot if you want to display the person's name who followed, subscribed, cheered, etc. Anyways, sorry for yapping so much. I had to create the same thing in CSS using code because that was the easiest way for you to basically copy paste and immediately have them available to you right now. So all you have to do is go to this website. I'm going to link in the description. So one single link, you're going to find all of them right here. And if you click on them, you will see the HTML code and the CSS code that made this possible. Now you're going to see the blank space here. This is where the name of the person who just tipped is going to appear. I only tested this with stream elements. I don't know if that works with Streamlabs yet. If there are some CSS geniuses here, feel free to take this code and I don't have any rights to the Hulk. I don't have any rights to, to Marvel Rivals uh, property. So this is all for free. You can get it right now. I'm not selling anything here. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to set it up with Stream Elements in just a couple minutes. So you go to StreamElements.com. You want to make sure you're logged in with your Twitch account. We're going to go to a dashboard. You're going to click on your name top right, go to dashboard. And then on the left, under streaming tools, you'll find overlays. There you go. Here's the list of all of my overlays. You want to click on new overlay. Here you can leave this at 1080p. And then we'll go ahead and add a widget. That widget needs to be an alert box. Nice. One of the first things I want you to do, and that's kind of crucial, is to go to position and style and set the width to 639 and the height to 939. This is crucial for everything to display properly. And now you'll see you have kind of this card like outline. Go back to layers, click on settings and click on the cog wheel under follow alert, for example. If you want to test them at the bottom in the middle here, you'll see emulate. You can click and click follower event and you'll see the default follower alert. That's what it looks like. Okay. But what we are looking for is right there. It'll say enable custom CSS. You want to turn that on and then you want to open editor. Now, remember those steps because we're going to do them for literally all of them. And it's very easy. You're just going to copy paste in two different fields, the HTML field right there and the CSS field. That's it. Basic windows commands that you need to know is control a, like I'm going to click on anywhere in the text here, control a that selects all of my text. If I want to delete it, I can just boom, right? Let me bring it back. <laughs> so for the follow alert on that link, I'm going to go click on my follow alert. It's the Iron Man one. I'm going to click somewhere on the text, control a control C to copy everything back to stream elements, click anywhere on the text, control a control V to replace everything that I just selected. All right. So far, so good. Now go to the CSS tab, go back to the code pen. And under the CSS tab right here, click somewhere, control A to select everything, control C to copy everything. Go back to the stream elements, do the same thing, control A, control V to paste, therefore replacing everything. And guess what? Fun fact, uh, you just have it now. If you click on follower event to test it, there it is. And it actually displays the name. Sorry, I can't really see it. There you go. Now you still have a little bit of customization that you can do here. For example, alert duration, if you want it to be longer, you really want people to see the effect and, or if you want to give yourself time to read the alert, if you're, if you read stuff that way, you could put like 15 seconds, 20 seconds. It depends on you all the way at the bottom. There's also animation settings. You go up here. You can also choose for it to fade in and also fade out and it will set the duration to one second for the fade in and fade out. That way, the alert basically fades in just like that. Does its thing and then eventually fades out. Just like that, right? Before we continue, I'm going to call this Marvel Rivals Alerts. I'm going to make sure I save and uh, I'm going to do the rest of them 
in real time so you can understand what's going on and i'm also going to comment on like specificities which there isn't much really all right let's go back i'm going to click here subscriber alert okay cool remember what we do enable css open editor i'm going to click here select everything preemptively go back to that main page find the subscriber alert it seems to be this one okay cool click somewhere Control a Control c go back Control v go to css Control a to select everything Go here, control A, copy and paste. And boom, I have a subscriber alert. It is that fast. <laughs> it is that easy, really. Copy, paste, okay? Cool. Now, something to note is that for resubs, tips, anything that requires messages, I personally like remove the whole uh, message part. Uh, there was no way I was gonna fit it in there, basically. Also, I struggled a lot with a CSS for this. What can I say? What can I say? Just read the message in chat if you get a sub, if you get a resub, if you get a tip or something like that. And I immediately forgot which one I picked. Tip alert. Okay, now tip alert. Very easy. Boom. Enable custom CSS. Open editor. Which one is the tip? It's the Hulk because he's green and money is green. I don't know. I wasn't thinking much. <laughs> Boom. Control A to copy. Control A, Control V. And we have it. It's done. Tip event, test it. You can also uh, put your own sound. I'm gonna tell you where to get like Marvel related sounds if you want to. As you can see, it shows how much it tips. Uh, no messages once again. Go back, also here, go back. What do we have? Uh, cheer alert, enable custom CSS, open editor. Cheer is Venom. Boom, okay. Control A, Control C. Control A, Control V, and it's done. Share event, test it. It works. And finally, we have the raid. Enable custom CSS, open editor. And that's gonna be your boy. <laughs> I almost I almost didn't do this one, and I was like, wait, no, I gotta put that shark. You guys are gonna kill me if I don't put the shark. And just like that, you have your raid event. It is really, really that simple. And it took me a week <laughs> to get this working. <laughs> all right, all you have to do from there is save, copy the overlay URL here, and then put it in your broadcasting software. As I don't think I need to show you how to put a browser source link. Do, do I? You know what, just in case. So you wanna go to sources, go to a browser, uh, call it, Marvel rival alerts or whatever you want, really. Remember the width and height? Width was 639, height was 939. You want to stay true to that. That link that we just copied, you want to paste it in the URL part and booyah. So now if I want to emulate a follow event, please work. There it is. All right, so a couple things. Uh, for people who know CSS, who are good with it, Honestly, like modify it. it you're going to see it's not perfect. Actually, it's it's probably pretty bad. Probably. I don't know. But in the HTML, you're going to find three images every single time. And I basically use Photoshop to uh, create those three images for every card, right? So I have a front, I have the character, and then I have the back every single for every single one of them. So if you would like to customize this and you would like to add your own image or create your own card, it is that simple just do it just do it <laughs> the images are uploaded on imager so just upload your own image and replace the link oh i almost forgot to show you where to find the sound effects uh, first of all youtube marvel rivals sound effects you're gonna find a bunch of them figure out how to get them as mp3 or .ogg if you need inspiration or anything another one is tuna.voicemod.net this is basically sounds that people uploaded feel the wrath of the goddess and if you want to download them, just click on the little download button. And it's that simple. So then in Stream Elements, you can click on the cogwheel and you'll see uh, upload sound right there. Just upload it here, choose it, and you're good to go. Again! Jesus. Perfect hex! No! But if you want something different from Marvel Rivals as like your alerts, I uploaded a video about um, the Shockwave alert pack from nerd or die and this one is professionally made and you can easily install it like by double clicking on one single file pretty easy uh, this one is free or 
pay what you want so you can tip if you want to but you can also type zero in the price box and get it for free it's highly customizable uh, and they have color themed based on specific characters but that's pretty cool check that out too if this was helpful in any way make sure you subscribe like the video share the video with your streamer friends and um you know what quick announcement i want to do something for one of my next projects i would like to do a community-based project where basically you guys send in some twitch clips right your favorite twitch clips from your channel and we're gonna review a bunch of them and we're gonna ask the community to give feedback on how could this clip be better how can we edit this clip to potentially make a potentially <laughs> viral clip so basically let's make a viral clip together based on your clips so um, this is probably going to happen on Twitter. So you want to make sure you keep an eye on my Twitter. This is where you will submit your clips. Then I will pick a couple of them. I will make a video showcasing them. And then I will ask you guys to give your opinions. Then we'll edit them together. And yeah, the goal is to see if all of us together can come up with ideas to make a clip really go viral. And of course, the original person who owns that clip will post it on their social media. Anyways, that means follow me on Twitter for sure. Follow me on Twitch and I'll see you guys next time.